Halloweeners, it's Sasha and today I am going to be diving back into the world of vlogging. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I am doing my first installment of Educate Your Shelf since I have rejoined the booktube community. If you've never seen any of my Educate Your Shelf vlogs or if you're a new subscriber, I will link the Educate Your Shelf vlogs down below. But essentially it is just a vlog series that I started because I realized that I only read straight white books really for like the majority of my life. And I didn't realize that until I joined the booktube community. And I thought a fun way to expand my horizons as a reader and just as a human being in general, I thought doing a new vlog series would be fun. And I was right. I've had a lot of fun reading it. I've done chronic illness representation. I've done bipolar disorder representation. I've done books by indigenous authors. And now I'm doing books by asexual authors. This vlog has been two years in the making because this was literally on the roster for last, not last year, the year before that. But then I went on my little booktube hiatus and never read or posted any of the books that I was planning on. So I figured the best way to come full circle would be for me to read those books slash some new books slash just doing this vlog in general again and just have it be my way of coming back. So I'm planning on reading four books in this vlog. It's a little ambitious for me because I've not been reading as quickly as I have been in the past but let's just do a little chat about each of them very brief and then we'll get right into the vlog. So the first book I want to read is Be being Ace, which is a collection of short stories by Ace authors. Sorry about the ring light. There we go. By Ace authors about asexual characters. And it was edited by Madeline Dyer. And there are several different authors in here. So there's Akemi Don Bowman, Rosie Thor, who I have another book by in here. Spoiler. And just a few others as well. I'm not an anthology girly. Never have been. Never will be. But this did interest me because there are a lot of different stories. We span a range of genres. So there's fantasy, there's dystopia, I think, there's sci-fi definitely, and there's some contemporary just realistic fiction. So it spans a whole wide variety of genres. So it's the perfect book to include in this vlog. So I'm looking forward to that. Next, I want to read Tarnish of the Stars. Let's get in the ring light area. Okay, Tarnish of the Stars by Rosie Thor. This is about a young girl named Anna, a young boy named Nathaniel, and another young girl named Eliza. So it's a whole bunch of different stories essentially set in this dystopian universe where technology and technological advances are made illegal and outlawed. And then there is a girl who like uses them and people want to capture her. That's essentially the gist of it. I'm looking forward to this. It's not necessarily a book I would pick up on like a normal basis. Like I might put it on my TBR just to like have it, but it's not a book I would ever like reach for probably, but I'm looking forward to it. Next is a book I've been dying to read for a long time, but I've been putting it off and I'm finally glad I had the excuse to read it this time. It's Loveless by Alice Oseman. So this book has been kind of on my radar for some time. I read another book by Alice Oseman a while ago and really enjoyed my time reading it, but Alice Oseman intimidates me because there are a lot of books in the Oseman verse and I just get intimidated. I am an intimidated girly all the time. This has been one that's been on my radar. I don't know why necessarily it's jumped out at me more. I think it's the one that I hear the most about other than like Heartstopper and things like that, but it's essentially about this main character named Georgia War who is going off to university having never kissed anybody, having never been intimate in that way with anybody, and she's wondering kind of like when's it going to be her turn? Why is she not dealing with this? And it just goes through her like first year college journey of self-discovery and meeting new friends and and old friends and it's just gonna be a really good time I think. And the fourth book I don't have here with me is Beyond the Black Door by A.M. Strickland. This is about a young girl who is a soul walker so she can walk in between people's souls while they're asleep and while she's asleep and there's some darkness and there's some long lost family and found family and it's also a little intimidating because this is Darian's one of Darian's favorite books of all time and if we know anything about me and Darian our reading tastes are so vastly different but they can be very similar so I find that a lot of books that like we'd like give like three or four like maybe like even 2.5 two stars to we are quite similar you know but then you get a book where one of us gives it five stars and the other will give it one star and that has happened multiple times so I'm a little bit anxious to see where we're at with this because she gave this five stars so I'm like oh no does that mean I'm gonna hate it but I own it I've owned it for a while because I was planning on reading it a while ago so it's perfect for this this vlog because there is some asexuality representation within our main character but I'm a little anxious 
about it still hopefully it proves me wrong and we get to have a really fun time with it but apprehension is real there but anyway those are the four books i'm planning on reading for this vlog i will rank them at the end from my least favorite to my most favorite which you can probably already figure out from the vlog itself i am very transparent with my feelings so without further ado let's just jump into the vlog and i apologize in advance it's very b-roll heavy on the first half and like not in the second half because i was like fighting for my life to finish these books anyway see you at the end I think I'm going to start Being Ace, which is a collection of short stories by Ace authors in regards to Ace characters and kind of navigating that. So this is going to be the first installment, I guess, book in my Educate Yourself Ace reading vlog. So I'm hoping potentially I'll get started tonight while I'm working because I am working overnight, but we are the only emergency hospital in the province that's open, so I might not. I figured I would give like a little bit of a, I don't know, introduction to the book in case I do get a chance to read tonight. I might not but we'll see anyways yeah i gotta go so i just got off a 10 hour shift i'm exhausted i did end up reading one of these stories so i read the introduction and the first story in being ace the introduction was beautiful it was magical it was really special it was worded well it made me interested it made me want to read the anthology and i definitely still do but the first story I don't know if I'm just not bright enough or on the same plane, but it was not my favorite. It was good. It was whole, whole, wholesome. I think it was a nice way to start the anthology, but there was like zero depth. And I know short stories lack depth a lot of the time, but like there was zero, like we have, like it was giving nothing, like it, 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 nothing. I don't know if there was just too much use of like metaphor or something i don't know i just i feel like there was just not a lot of explanation not a lot of background not a lot of depth and it just felt a little bit disjointed but it was a great way to start i just am hopeful that the others will just continue to grow and become more interesting for me but like i said i i do like it it was good it was just weird and it just wasn't maybe it wasn't just my thing but overall i'm excited to continue i'm not reading anymore right now i don't think i'm probably just gonna eat breakfast and hopefully go home and sleep but if i do read any other stories i will let you know but as of right now first one i would probably give like a 2.5 out of 5 like it was fine it didn't really do anything for me i'm definitely gonna forget that it happened so yeah chat a little bit about the so far overall feeling I'm having about being ace. The first story was giving nothing. It gave me zero anything. Like I didn't feel anything toward our character. I didn't feel anything toward the story. So I had some concerns given that that was how we chose to start the anthology that each book was going to lack the depth that I personally would hope for in a story, even a short story. But the second story from Akemi Don Bowman, incredible. Like I literally felt Felt so stinking good reading it. It was a beautiful little short story about loss and grief and navigating that as a young person as well as navigating their asexuality. So I thought it was beautiful. The asexuality did not give us much through this story. The story did center on grief and loss and kind of coming into oneself, but it was so cute still. Like I loved it. Akemi Don Bowman, her writing is beautiful. I've never had any issues with reading reading anything they've written. Their writing just is insane. I was in love with this story. I can't wait to continue knowing that we will have some amazing short stories like this one. I have had nothing but a good time so far. Even with the first story dragging a little bit for me, it was only a very short amount of time, so I still feel like I was able to get a lot from this so far. Great way to start this vlog, absolutely. Cannot wait to continue, and I will keep guys updated.
so i'm finished being ace right now i really loved it each story brought something different to the table some focused heavily on the asexuality and some were more just about the person and less about how they identified each were both valid each were both important i enjoyed it i don't know if i can give it a rating i think i probably would just give it like a four just because there were certain stories i didn't like or at least didn't like as much so i can't give it a five but i don't know if i'm going to rate it yet i have a difficult time rating anthologies but yeah this was good i'm going to start tarnish the stars probably tomorrow otherwise yeah i'm gonna go to sleep because i'm exhausted i filmed i edited i cooked i had a lot today so i'm really tired so i'm ready to go to sleep now see you soon so I'm 100 pages into Tarnished Are the Stars by Rosie Thor. This book is pretty good. It's a little juvenile. Like it's definitely like a juvenile YA feel. But I am enjoying myself. Like it is good. It's interesting. I'm interested to know kind of what is going to happen. We have three main characters. So we're following Anna, Nathaniel, and Eliza. Who all interconnect in some way. But I'm not going to say how because that would be spoilery. But I do like it. There's one character's POV that I'm not as interested in. But the other two I do enjoy. Overall, it's pretty good i'm interested to see where the story goes where the author chooses to take this because i do believe this is just a standalone so i'm interested to see how the story will conclude but i just thought i'd give my thoughts with the first 100 pages so yeah i will see you guys next time ignore that situation but i am officially 200 pages in to tarnished of the stars and i'm really liking it a little bit more than i thought i would still definitely juvenile but it's taken a twist i like the direction we're going in it shook me a little i will say that much but the one thing in terms of like asexuality rap because that's like the whole point of this entire video our male main character is asexual and doesn't necessarily come out right and say hey I'm an asexual man but he does not feel that he really wants to like kiss or be you know in a relationship with someone he just didn't feel that connection that he feels like most people his age feel I do think that he's probably going to be the one that is the like main focus of our asexuality rep I think we're getting some other queer rep though that's the 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 vibe that I'm getting which I would love so I'm gonna keep going keep trucking through I'm actually gonna sleep now but otherwise I'm gonna keep going keep like I said trucking through through. I hope to finish this by tonight or tomorrow, but I do go back to work on my rotation tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. But I'm really enjoying it so far, honestly. It's really fun. And hello. Oh, she likes to be held this way. She doesn't like to be held face out. Plum. That's my girl. That's her. Okay, bye. Mwah. So I'm 300 pages into Tarnished Are the Stars by Rosie Thor. I'm still really enjoying this. It is definitely something I would not have picked up on my own. It is sci-fi, which I'm not like the biggest fan of. And the premise itself didn't sound like overly interesting to me, but I knew it had some asexuality representation and I could get it from the library. So I figured, you know, this would be a good way to expand my horizons in a couple of different ways. And I am really enjoying this. It's interesting. It's fun. It's fast paced. It has a lot happening. I guess all three POVs are now quite interesting to me whereas last time there was really just like two that I was interested in the third one is growing on me now a lot but I'm just really enjoying this the plot is interesting I don't really know what's going to happen I can predict like certain things like I predicted like a couple of things so far but I still have like 50 so pages left so I'm interested to see how the author concludes the story asexuality is certainly a part of it but it's not the only part of it I can't wait to continue I'm gonna keep reading hopefully finish the book before I go to work tonight so fingers crossed but yeah bye so i finished <laughs> I finished Tarnished Are the Stars by Rosie Thor. So I definitely saw the plot twist from like a mile away, but it was a very juvenile YA book to start. So I kind of had the expectation that I was going to figure some stuffs out before we were supposed to. But I honestly had such a fun time with this. This was such a good book. It just flowed so well. Each character brought something completely different but necessary to the table. I really had a good time. This took me by surprise because I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I did. I'm gonna settle on a four 
to a 4.5 stars. I have to really think about it. It's definitely not a 5, but I can't decide if I want to do a 4 or a 4.5. So once I figure that out, I will maybe let you know. It was so good. It was exactly what I wanted it to be, exactly what I needed it to be. It was beautiful. And the ending, the last line, like the last page, stunning. Stunning. It's definitely, it took me by surprise. Rosie Thor kind of hit me different than I was expecting, but I really loved this. I'm going to see if the author has written any more books. I'm going to see if I could add them to my TBR because honestly, this was beautiful and I've had a lot of fun reading it. I've really enjoyed my time reading it. I think I'm going to start Loveless not right now. I'm probably going to start it tomorrow, maybe, but Loveless by Alice Oseman is the third book in this vlog, so I do want to get that started soon, but yeah, just truly an incredible experience. I had such a great time. So book number three coming soon. This is three, not two. Bye. So just a quick update. I've decided to give it 4.5 stars because I truly just had so much fun reading it. I think the only reason I'm not going to give it 5 is just because I truly guessed the like plot twist and the writing was a little bit juvenile for me at times. So I think that's the only reason I'm not giving it 5 stars, but 4.5 stars is still really good. I'm really happy with it. So I'm thriving. Yeah, okay. That's all I want to say. So Bye. I am 50%. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm 100 pages into Loveless by Alice Oseman. Really enjoying it so far. Chapters are nice and short. I feel like it's easy to get through. I really like all the characters so far. Georgia, she's a very likable, awkward gal, main character. I really enjoy how Alice Oseman wrote her. Her two best friends, Pip and George. Nope. Her two best friends, Pip and Jason. I like them as well. Her roommate at college, I'm also enjoying. It just seems like I'm really enjoying all of the characters because I feel like they add some depth to the story. Overall, really liking it can't wait to see where it goes i'm gonna try to read a small amount more before work so i'll keep you guys updated bye this lighting is doing something i just got off work i read some in my car at work in the parking lot and then i got home and i read some in the car at home in the parking lot and i'm finally past the 200 page point but i don't understand why it's taking me so long i do i always tell myself oh you're gonna read a full book on your rotation like it's fine you'll have time i don't especially not on night shifts because i just sleep during the day and then i go to work at night so like i don't have time to do that i digress i just don't know how i'm gonna get the third book or the fourth book rather done for this vlog so i'm kind of pain panicking but that's okay because i am really enjoying this so i'm 200 pages in we kind of have just really had like a breakthrough about asexuality and i'm really enjoying that the way that the author described it and and spoke of it was not a way that i've ever really heard it spoken about before or read about it being like that i guess i just never educated myself enough to really know all of the things i thought i did and i probably still don't i've read like three ya books but at least with Loveless, it really does feel like the author is really trying to teach in an enjoyable way. Just seeing that and just reading about that, it's very, very well worded and well spoken. And it was just really interesting. So I definitely will say that. I, I loved that. I had a great time with that. Noah's calling, so please hold. Okay, I'm back. I'm just hoping to finish this really soon just so I can finally cross it off the list. But yeah, I am having a great time. So I love it. I'll see you next time. Just a quick update. I'm 300 pages into Loveless now and I still am really enjoying it. Not a whole lot has happened. We're kind of a conflict session part of the book. So that's been, you know, interesting to see unravel. I'm looking forward to seeing where the book goes itself. I really enjoyed my time reading it, like I said last night. But yeah, I just wanted to provide a little update. I'm just going in to the nurse now. So that is great. Goodbye hello <laughs> i've officially finished loveless by alice oseman i'm gonna go ahead and give this five stars best book so far of the vlog i have loved every second of it reading it experiencing the friendships oh my god they were so perfect i really just had a great time i was giggling at times i was stressed at times it was just a really good story and i'm really glad that i read it for this vlog i think it's a really great resource for young adults who are exploring their sexuality, who are thinking they may be on the arrow A spectrum. Like, I think it's a really good resource to have. It's explained beautifully. It's a beautiful story. It's about love and friendship in the most pure way. And I just had a really fun time reading it. So I'm really happy. Life is good. It's all done. I just have one more stinking book that I want to get to in this vlog. And that is Beyond the Black Door by A.M. Strickland. This vlog is supposed to be out in three days time. I don't know if I'm going to finish but i'm officially off my work rotation so we're gonna give her a go and we'll see what happens okay bye
I'm 25% of the way through Beyond the Black Door by A.M. Strickland. I'm enjoying it so far. At first, I was a little bit iffy on it. I'm not gonna lie. I was having a difficult time understanding what was happening and I was just not really vibing with it. Like, I found it a little bit convoluted, but I'm actually enjoying myself now. It got a little bit more interesting in my opinion. I still have questions, but I think that's just the nature of the story. It's not like anything I've ever really read before. So, I definitely still have questions. In terms of the asexuality representation our main character Kamai is asexual I don't necessarily know if there's a word for it in this world but she doesn't feel a sexual attraction so she says that multiple times it is well known with her so that is what we're seeing now it doesn't really play like a lot into the story right now it's really just a fact about her it sort of played a little bit more at the beginning but then things happened so now it's kind of just like not if that makes sense but yeah I'm interested to to see where this goes i'm looking forward to continuing reading it is a little bit daunting that i have to finish this in less than 48 hours because it's quite a heavy book it just it's a lot but i'm gonna do my best and hope for the best and i will see you folks in my next update bye hello i just woke up and finished half of the chapter i was reading and realized i'm at 50 percent of beyond the black door by am strickland so i'll give a quick update because i want to go back to sleep but essentially i really do like it the representation is playing more of a factor now which i'm enjoying however every time i pick up the book i'm falling asleep and i don't know if that's because the book is a little bit more dense than what i'm used to or if it's just because i'm an eepy bitch i can't decide but i am genuinely enjoying it it's just a little bit more dense than what i'm used to but we'll see how it goes i'm just gonna keep Keep going keep trekking keep trying to make it through because this vlog is supposed to be up in less than 48 hours bye hello ignore the messy kitchen it is just how it is life is like that sometimes all right i am currently 75 percent of the way through beyond the black door by a.m strickland this book is all right so sorry darian i like it sure but do i love it i don't think so it's definitely not my favorite and i'm still having difficulties like staying focused while reading it just because i feel like it is a lot it's interesting sure and the concept is really cool and i love the inclusion of asexuality within the concept like it's really well done it's just very dense and I don't like my reading to necessarily be dense and like beautiful which this is I'm more of a let's get straight to the point girly so I will finish today I've made up my mind but I just feel like I wanted to give that update but I'll let you know finally when I'm done Bye. hello welcome back it's me your girl you finished my whole vlog thank you so much and congratulations because what a journey we've been on together I had a great time reading all of these books for this being my first delve back into a reading a themed reading vlog I felt really good about the great time I had and the books that I picked because I think each book brought something different and unique and I really enjoyed it so I guess we'll talk going from my least favorite to my most favorite I think I'm gonna settle on being ace the anthology of short stories being my least favorite solely because I'm not that into short stories to begin with there were some beautiful ones in here please don't get me wrong like there were some really great stories that I probably still think about but I feel like most of them were just okay or just not the best actually there was only like one that I didn't like and that was the first one most of them I feel like were just like okay didn't really do a whole lot for me there were some that were really nice and really good but like for the most part this is probably my least favorite just because I think it'll stay with me the least next I have to go with Beyond the Black Door by Am Strickland. I am so sorry, Darian. I give this 3.5 stars out of 5. This is not a bad book by any stretch. I genuinely do not think so. I just think that the writing, the author and I just don't mix. As I said in the vlog, the writing itself is very descriptive and it's very beautiful. Like the way the author wrote was stunning. Like genuinely, their descriptive language was beautiful. The way that they described the different Nahims, so the the souls, like the soul houses or whatever, was great. It was incredible. It just wasn't for me. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it truly just wasn't my favorite type of story. I loved our main character, Kamai. I thought she was, for everything going on, fairly level-headed. I loved the idea of the story. Like, the plot was really good. It was cool. There were a couple of things that, like, I didn't necessarily see coming, which I was pretty jazzed about. But I guess the overall execution was what 
was lacking for me personally. So I didn't really think that I could rate it higher than a 3.5, but I can see why some people love it. I can also see why some people can't get into it. It really seems like this book is just for a very specific type of person and a very specific type of reader. And that's fine. I'm just not that type of reader. So I couldn't rate it any higher, but I did have a good time reading it. Next, I would say is Tarnished on the Stars by Rosie Thor. I ended up giving this 4.5 stars after some deliberation. This was a great story. I had a lot of fun reading it. The ending is what really sold it, I think, for me. The writing in the beginning was a little bit juvenile, so I was a little concerned it would be kind of like young, young, young adult, and I was just like, mm, that's fine. You know, when you go into a YA book, sometimes it just is that, and you cannot fault the author because you're in that age category. But I was like, oh, oh well. But it actually ended up being this beautiful story. There were some pretty rough moments, I'm not gonna lie to you, and there was just some really fun exploration of self. There was a plot twist I saw coming from a mile away, but overall I was just really surprised by this. It took me just completely for a run for my money. I would have never expected to rate this as my second highest, but here we are. And finally, the book to like end all books. No, it's not like I didn't love it like that that much. Loveless by Alice Oseman. I did end up giving five stars. I actually really loved this book. Georgia I related to on such a deep level, not with her asexuality. I do not identify as such, but just with everything else about her, like her social anxiety, her kind of like awkwardness, her quirkiness, like things like that, the way that she felt in like busier situations, like clubs, parties, things like that. I related to her and her thought processes behind that. So I did really have a good time reading about it because I just genuinely related to her. And I feel like I have a friend like most of all of these friends in here. So it really just, I was able to put myself in George's shoes as well as putting, you know, like my friend group in her friend group's shoes. And I think that just made the, the reading experience so much more enjoyable for me. Five out of five stars. I love Alice Oseman's writing. I had fun. I was giggling. I was stressing. I was feeling sad. I love when we can get a full range of emotion. I think that's really important for a story. Overall, genuinely had such a fun time. I will be looking more into the Oseman-verse to see what other books I can pick up, but this was definitely top tier, top of the list story. So that is everything for this Educate Yourself reading vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in. I had such a fun time filming it, vlogging it, doing it, and just picking the books, chatting with Darian about some of her recommendations, as well as just looking at some different resources online. I had a great time. I can't wait to do another installment of this. I don't know what it will be, but if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. I will kind of end off with the normal spiel. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. I do post once a week every Wednesday, and I am really excited to just be back and having a great time on booktube again. And yeah, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye readers! <music>